welcome back so in today's tutorial we will be looking on one more topic in service now which is ci relationship in cmdb so actually i got this request from one of my subscriber um, uh, so as a result of which i am creating this tutorial okay so before that let's understand what is cmdb ci relationship is okay the cmdb ci is a in contrast to a static asset list okay helps you to track not only the information of the configuration item within the system but also the relationship between those items a relationship in the cmdb consists of two uh, two ci and a relation ty type can be either a parent ci or child ci type of relationship that links both cis for example in the server one managed by server to relationship right so server one is a child of server to right and server to is a parent okay so we will look into this only how the relationship is defined and how we can create our own relationship so let's go to the system so as you can see on my system this is my first instance and if i go to configuration and under configuration we can see all the configuration item okay so for example if we scroll down then we have application services we have application servers we have servers these are all the classes of cmdb ci or you can in simple word you can call it a categorization of the ci classes so let's for example we will look into servers and in that server we will look into the web window server so let's open one of the window server okay and let's try to understand how the ci relationship looks like so i will open it in a new tab with the hope that it will load fast yeah it's getting loaded and this is a server record this is a windows server record for for your indications and this is all the information which is required with respect to this particular windows server okay so here you can see asset tag manufacturer company model id some configuration related uh, information and below that you can see a uh, related items okay so this is here where the relationships is defined okay so there are three types of relationships okay one is receive data from reason and use by okay so receive data from is like ki on which particular application or services this particular configuration item depends on is on which particular from which particular application this particular uh, windows server takes the information from so it's like receive data from the second is runs on so on which particular application this service works on okay or runs on you can say so that particular server is is called as runs on okay and the third type of relationship is used by which all application are using this particular uh, ci so this is a third attribute okay and as you can see here l1 l2 and l3 right so l1 signifies that it has a direct relationship okay between um, between your ci and the ci so it will be a direct relationship l2 define secondary relationship means for example windows server is connected to vmware and vmware is connected to this l2 l03 this is a secondary and in the similar way we have a tertiary relationship which is defined as l3 okay and if we want to see uh, how exactly it looks in a graphical format so on the right hand side you can see there are three options over here so you can go on this and if you hover it it's like show dependency view so if we click on this so show dependency view so it will open up a new screen and in that screen it will show us the so yeah it's taking time it will take some time to load so then i will explain and there is a button called this plus which will be used to add a relationship okay so we will look into this after afterwards okay so if i go to the dependency view i will zoom out <coughs> somewhat and here 
whatever we have seen on the system right whatever we have seen on the screen it's visible over here uh, in a graphical format only okay so we have option to zoom from here also so this is our windows server okay this is our windows server this particular windows server is taking the data the arrow is coming down right so and you you if you hover also it shows depends on used by okay so it's taking the data from this particular service outlook web access and windows mobile access okay so over here you can call this two as a primary or l1 uh, relationship and this server is having a dependency on electronic messaging also this you can call it as a l2 okay and if there is something this you can call it as l3 okay so you can see uh, in similar word you in simple word if you want to define okay it's number of branches you can consider which are used to connect to the system so here it's uh, it, it has used one branch so it's l1 if it has two branches then it's l2 if it has three branches then it's l3 okay and at the bottom we have if you hover it runs on server okay so it runs on this server and at the last it's like received data so, okay so this is how the relationship looks like okay you can have horizontal also okay you can change it in a horizontal view you can change it to radial view also you can pose pose group okay there are a lot of things okay you can you can check and you can see the details also on the same so this is how the relationship looks like okay now if you want to create a new relationship so let's do one thing let's create a new web server windows server only so i will give it a name like demo not that demo it should be not that demo windows server so demo windows server and i will not fill out any kind of information okay non mandatory information and if i save it out now we have a windows server stored right okay now if you scroll down in the related items okay so it should be empty so you can see there is nothing over here okay it's empty and if i go to this diagram also show dependency view so it should <coughs> ideally yeah so it should show an empty view yeah it's empty right there is nothing inside this okay no relationship now let's define a relationship how we can define a new relationship so for that you have to click on add relationship here relationship button okay and it will open a pop up or i can say it will slowly open and pop up because it's taking time okay and this ui macro come up okay and here you can see we have used the stored relationship so these are all the relationship which are defined okay which are defined right here so if i if it start if it get completely loaded then i can show you the further stuff okay perfect so these are all the suggested relationship types okay which you can see over here okay so if i go on any of this relationship okay for example it depends on if i go on depends on okay depends on so as soon as you click on this okay the filter will get changed okay so the filter got changed okay and now you can simply remove this filter out so what i will do i will keep one only so i will have file system rest other other i will remove okay because i want this class only i will location i will keep it if i run this out so based on this filter there is no data present okay so let's add another class dot <laughs> net application let's see if we have something okay 
no data I need some okay let's go to build an application oh it's the anchor I will go <coughs> class is what I should take yeah, so no record now let's take something for which there is something something or other is present so I have taken the database and for database now I want to create a relationship between database classes and this whatever we have given the demo, the demo record okay so now based on the filter condition you gave over here we got all the records which are matching those conditions out okay and from here you can simply select those out <coughs> so I will select this 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 I selected this four okay and you can see there is a tab called relationship right so you can simply click on add okay and those whatever you have selected at the top right those got added over here okay you can also delete it from here so if I want to delete this one so I can delete oh, sorry. this one I can delete it also from here so this is how you can add a relationship so I have added a, depend, a relationship called depends on okay and it, it means that it depends on this particular CIs okay and if I do save and save so it will save this hierarchy let's just save and exit okay. Today my system is quite slow. Okay, let's go to Windows in this to see if it gets reflected. So we have created the more Windows server relationship and let's see if it's getting reflected if it already was saved or not. I think it got saved. No. <clears throat> Let's do it one more time. So let me go over here again and quickly do the same steps. I will select depends on I will run if I get this record with the same filter. I didn't get okay we got I will add few application, add and save and exit, save and exit and yeah I clicked ok, ok so the relationship got saved successfully. Now if I go to the record ok and lo load it out, now you can see depends on got added and we have three applications, the selected application at the bottom. And if I go to the view now, so I should be able to see this under the view, right? So this is how you can create a different relationship uh, in CMDB CI, okay? And 
yeah look into the architect for the same okay it's actually it's pretty amazing so hope you like this video okay please like follow subscribe and if you have this kind of sessions if you have any any topic on which you want to see some tutorials please drop into comment and we'll try to create a quick video on the same okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you